I'm Rena Paloff. I'm from Alameda, California, which is in the San Francisco Bay Area. Teach for Fielding Graduate University, and I write quite a bit about online teaching and learning. Terrific, and thank you for being with us here at Penn State today. We really appreciate it. Um, a question for you, Rena, regarding higher education and a lot of the forces of change um, going on. What would you describe as one of the biggest challenges or issues facing higher education right now? There are lots of challenges mm -hmm. facing higher education right now. Um, anything from budgets to declining enrollments to whatever. There, there are policy issues, lots. But I think one of the biggest challenges that doesn't get a lot of attention is that our sort of traditional structure it's the only way I can describe it, of, of higher ed, mm. is really not as relevant anymore in the face of, <clears throat> excuse me, the face mm. of all of these other forces as it once was. So it's not adjusting. As fast as the forces are coming, these, our systems aren't adjusting. Right. It's kind of like higher ed, I think for quite a while, dug in its heels and said, no, we are not going to face this challenge, mm -hmm. these challenges. We're going to continue to deliver education the way we always have. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just not going to be responsive. And mm -hmm. I think it's very interesting. I just thought about this. I had a master's student a couple of years ago who wrote a paper looking at this issue mm -hmm. um, and saying that he was sort of surprised. He's actually an organizational development student. Okay. And he was kind of surprised that an entire, as he put it, industry, mm -hmm. the industry of higher ed, missed all the cues mm -hmm. about that signaled that we needed to make some changes. We missed them all. It was like the flamingo burying sure. its head. Sure. And um, mm. then it all sort of hit us. Enrollment started to decline. Faculty were being laid mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. Faculty were being asked to take days of leave without mm -hmm. pay, et cetera, Costs keep et on going up. The costs keep on going up. Yeah. And we're continuing to do business as usual. Yeah. And that's still happening. Yeah. So we have, you know, the, the tenure system really mm -hmm. is sort of dying and mm -hmm. probably needs to die, but there's mm -hmm. a lot of resistance to that. Sure. There's the, the whole course and credit hour piece mm -hmm. that we're holding on to for dear life and yet the marketplace is saying mm -hmm. that the marketplace that receives our graduates are saying um, a student getting a B in this course means nothing to mm -hmm. me but if you give me a list of the competencies that this student has achieved and can do mm -hmm. that speaks volumes. Mm. So we need to really sort of adapt and adjust and transform, mm -hmm. if you will, to meet the needs of our students, our culture, our society, mm. to incorporate better incorporate technological advances into mm -hmm. the work that we're doing, reconfigure the way that we deliver courses. Mm -hmm. All of that needs to change. Yeah. You know, a term I've heard used along this line that I really like is the term ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And what you're saying is we have the same ecosystem that has not really evolved right. to face these new The forces. ecosystem has evolved around yes, us. Yes, right, right, right. But we're holding on to this piece of that ecosystem. Yeah. And those of, the, those of us who know systems theories yeah. and who work with systems theories yeah. know that we are, if we don't make those changes, mm -hmm. we'll go into entropy. Yeah. We'll die. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we're at a, we're at a mm. fractal right now. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's a fractal. And the system is evolving and changing all around us, and we have to either evolve or die. Yeah. Good. Good point. All right. Thank you so much.